Hi YouTube, my name is Larry Fishberger and today's video is a super exciting one. It is another unboxing video. As you guys know, not too long ago, I recently got a uh, Cinch PS4 controller. That's actually two of my Cinch PS4 controllers. I've always been a PlayStation controller kind of guy. So today's video is a pretty interesting one because this is my first Cinch Xbox controller. Uh, I kind of wanted to switch things up. For me, I love PlayStation controllers. I love the way that they feel. As you can see here, this is one of my other Cinch controllers. Um, I love the way that these controllers feel. I love the way that the sticks are right next to each other. However, Sony PS4 controllers, uh, for me, don't usually last as long as they should. It's nothing to do with Cinch, Sony, anybody like that. It's just something with the right sticks, the way that they're programmed. I burned through them, I got a heavy thumb. So I decided I wanted to try something new and uh, Cinch being the amazing company that they are, they sent me an Xbox controller to try out. I customized it. I'll tell you guys wh what I got for it, um, like the specs and stuff like that, but I kinda wanna dive into the unboxing and then we'll talk about the controller itself and uh, some of those other details as well. So without further ado, let's just jump into the unboxing, see what we got in the box here, okay? So, got this box here. As soon as you open it immediately, Cinch always usually hooks it up with some cool stickers. So we got two little stickers as well um just kind of got some cinch like see if the camera will focus a little bit on those but uh super super cool looking little stickers but i think this one's really cool so if anybody if you're buying a controller you're most likely a part of the controller gang that is definitely one of the cooler stickers i own shout out to cinch i actually really really like that sticker um and then of course we got the controller um so let me crack this bad boy open here looks like they actually used one of those stickers to kind of seal it which is kind of cool um the seal off there we go open this bad boy up oh and she's a beauty she is a beauty so um immediately got these extra set of sticks as well as you guys can see uh they give me a little baggie with some extra sticks in them you know in case you want ones that are higher different like dome concave i personally prefer a concave stick i believe that's how it's called um so but here we are right here Take a look at the controller in all its glory. Oh, man, that is a beautiful, beautiful looking controller. I wanted something simple and clean, so I went with the uh, the red and the blue and the white, white on white. Um, and then the back, I believe, right, will light up when we plug it in as well. Um, but let's see here. So obviously you get some batteries. You get your standard Xbox stuff with the controller as well. But um really what i want to talk to you guys is how i have this controller set up and i think i'm gonna i'm gonna plug it in so that way you guys can see it light up as well hold on that's one of the coolest part about the sense controllers though is um i know it sounds a little corny but i really like the fact that they light up i don't know why it's something that i find super duper cool about the cinch controllers yes okay take a look at that man that's it's a very small gesture something very simple but i just think it's super cool um that the back buttons light up like that um, and then, of course, my middle button is red. Um, so super cool. Take the batteries out so we don't have the light up there anymore. Um, OK, so I want to go over to you guys what I did to the controller. OK, now what you guys will probably want to do might be different, but I, I have very specific things that I enjoy about these controllers. Uh, first things first, with Cinch, you can do like the mouse click buttons, which are like they don't press fully all the way down and it allows you to shoot quicker. I don't do those just because I preferably like to feel the press of the trigger. That is super weird. It's actually a benefit to be able to just have that quick click. I'm a weird dude. Um, I like to feel the full press. You might be like me, you might not be like me, but I don't do that. I also am a four button guy. I know a lot of people like to have two buttons. I made the change to four buttons. Um, I wanna say like a couple of years ago, um, and for me, it just allows it so that I can have a jump, a slide, a reload, a switch weapons, or it, particularly if you're playing Warzone, if you're a Warzone guy, I have this paddle here, sorry, this button here set to um, pop plates. So that way, if you're a controller guy, you know that you don't want to kind of move around. You just want to hold that button down and it pops your place for you. So it helps you tremendously. Um, so that's what I have it. Basically, I want to say I have my left. Left inside is a jump. Right inside is a slide. Pick up, reload on this left inside and then the right inside here is um is where i have like my swap weapons and pot plates for warzone so very 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 helpful um if you're somebody who doesn't have like a controller with paddles buttons whatever it may be and you don't already play claw 
you 100% should consider investing in one of these controllers, whether it's Cinch or something else. I personally love Cinch. They've taken good care of me. Um, you can use code Fishburger at cinchgaming.com if you guys decide to buy one. <laughs> Hashtag ad. Um, but yeah, it took my, my gaming to the next step. It is 100% one of the best things that you could do for yourself as a gamer. If you want to get better, if you feel like you're dying to people who are super sweaty all the time, get a controller with buttons, paddles, something on the back, guys. And a lot of people, they ask me, what is the benefit to a controller like that? Picture you're playing, okay? and you're you want you're going to shoot and you want to aim but you also want to slide or you want to jump while you're shooting you no longer have to take your thumb off the stick to aim so you can jump slide drop whatever you need to do while still aiming at your target and it's going to make you that much better of a player it might not seem like it but a 100 does but if you're if you're playing something like fortnite you can whip out your edits your builds so, without literally having to take your thumb off of the stick. It helps you in so many different scenarios. So highly, highly, highly encourage investing in one of these controllers. And if you've been looking at Cinch, um, I loved my Cinch PS4 controllers, and I'm sure that I'm gonna love my Cinch Xbox. I'll have to let you guys know if you're somebody who's on a PS4 or PS5 thinking of switching to an Xbox controller, um, I'll give you guys a little bit of review. I also stream every single day, twitch.tv slash so you guys can kind of watch my Xbox controller journey, so to speak. And uh, you guys can see what I'm feeling there. Feel free to ask me questions. But guys, yeah, this is the um, so this is the Cinch Gaming Xbox controller um, with four buttons on the back. Again, you could do two buttons. The only thing, okay, this is the only thing, and I don't know what it is yet. And, I, and I'm going to talk to them over at Cinch. This is not a remappable controller. That was one of the biggest advantages with the PlayStation 4 controller was remappable. You cannot remap this on the controller. And that right there is is a big one for me because remapping comes in handy. But if you're somebody who knows what buttons and binds you're going to use, you can also usually remap them on the game that you're playing. So that might help you out as well, because a lot of games now have custom binds. So um, that's the only thing, too. I think that might be a slight downfall to switching from the PS4 cinch to the Xbox cinch. Um, you cannot remap, but hopefully it's something that they're working on in the future. Um, and who knows, maybe even with the PS5, I'm also waiting for their four button PS5. That's something that's going to come down the road as well. So I'm waiting for a four button PS5 and a remappable. But until then, this should hold me off and get me there. And I'll let you guys know what I think about this. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, you have questions about the controller, other controllers, other cinch products, please let me know in the comments below. If there's anything else you guys think I should review or unbox again, let me know. I'm happy to do it. I'm happy to give you guys my honest opinion and feedback on these things as well. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys sub to the channel. Leave me leave a like. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good one.